the district nearest, right still very steady. Never thinking of lying for you, she's here to stay. Mr. Jones, a carpenter, making things from wood. Never cared for no one in his life. Uh, but Coplington was all about Bolden. I just changed the names. Uh, I mentioned Jimmy Jake, the Undertaker. Well, Jimmy Jake, the Undertaker, is actually it was Jimmy Wake, who was a pit deputy who lived two doors away from me. Um, I said, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Wills, who sells the pills at the chemist shop. Well, that that was actually Mrs. Willis, who. Um, ran the off license near the chemist in Borden. Uh and Jackie Sparks uh, I can't remember the words now but I, I remember uh, using a pianist in the song and that was actually uh, a guy called Jackie Sparks who played the piano at the flat tops in Borden. Recruiting at the time for the army wasn't good and they were wanting to get more soldiers into the army and this was one of the ideas they came up with to say you, yes you, you, you can be a soldier but you can still have a normal civilian life as well and they came up with this idea of the, the army beat group competition to show the, the, all the civilians that look, there's, there's loads of musicians and that in the army being pop stars and playing gigs, etc. And uh, that, that's where it came about. Right. And then he said, um, that's only part of it. He said, the other prize is that you're going to go on to play uh, before Princess Alexandra and Angus Ogilvy on a royal performance um, at the uh, Victoria Palace in London um, on such and such a day. And, and that we did. We went on to do that as well. <laughs> The first half of the show, <clears throat> we actually stood at the back of the theatre and watched the first half. Well, <clears throat> when it finished, everybody just stood up and made a mad gallop for the bar. So we were pushing our way through all these different people. I mean, and you're talking about those people in the audience like uh, Liz Taylor, Richard Burton. Um, there was lots of big stars there. And I can remember one particular thing that happened as I was going to the front of the stage. I bumped into this guy. And I'm, I'm five foot eleven. And I bumped into him and my face was more or less at the top of his chest. And I looked up and I looked up and I looked up. And who was looking down at me? Christopher Lee. And he looked down and I went, and I really thought he was Dracula. That's all I could get in my head was Dracula. I bumped into Dracula and he looked down and I went, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't, you know. And he just, he smiled and he said, he went, that's all right. And when he smiled, I thought I was gonna see fangs. Well, like, baby, everything is all right. to be on our best behaviour and they said please circulate and make yourself known to these other people don't be a nuisance but at the same time don't be standoffish you know show them that the army is friendly etc so I um, uh, set, sat and had tea and biscuits with uh, Vera Lynn and our daughter Virginia, Virginia Lewis, who was an absolute stunning looking lass at the time. 
Vera was a bit ropey, but the, the daughter was all right. <laughs> We did it at uh, Chapel Studios in London, which at the time was very popular. Um, some of the, the big names we used in Chapel Studios, such as uh, Jimi Hendrix and the Tremlows. And we, we spent about, I would think about seven or eight hours recording the two songs for the A and the B side. specs on his nose Working on a bench that's made of oak Look at him working, look at him working, look at him working, look at him working We'd been on the front cover of the Soldier magazine and we were in all the national papers, it was in the Daily Mirror on page three and you know, the, 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 there was lots of publicity surrounding the competition and that was it. As soon as we'd, we'd broadcast, look, you can have a, a normal life, apart from being a soldier, um, we'd served our purpose. The shades of blue never rocked the world, but they changed my life forever. And that's exactly what I feel. The, 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 I, I, fe I felt so much love and camaraderie from the lads I was with. They, they gave me a thirst for, for learning all the time, for, for, for taking on challenges. Sometimes challenges you thought you couldn't manage, but you still had to go at it. And we, we, we never dreamed for a moment that we could go on <clears throat> and win a competition like we won. But I know now that anything's possible if you set your heart to it and you, you work hard. Is he happy? Is he happy? Is he happy? 